Well, Peter, we're still at Jim Toff, and there's a dance move I want to do. Have you ever heard of the two-step? two-step like this yeah well, we're gonna take two steps into the future today but for a moment we're gonna take one step back just to have the conversation i actually talked to a young lady for everyone's watching and seeing this video who gave up her will her family will and all of the the money that was coming to her because she invested in a three-axis sodic machine that at that time her company could not afford but she believed that it so much that she said forget my will we need this we're gonna do things that no other company can do and they did and then she got her will back, thank goodness, but they did. They did precision and dye and mold that could never be done. Now, I tell you that story because that's a three-axis machine. For the first time ever, we're looking at a four-axis machine, and this is even a precursor to the five-axis machine, which is why we did the two-step. Yep, we did the two-step. I think that's probably a little too much action for you. I know I'm it American, is. Yeah, you're English. Good. I apologize, yeah. but let's talk about this four-axis machine. We're way more reserved than the Americans, as you know, <laughs> us English. But yeah, this is, this is the one step in the future. The two step in the future, that's coming. But we're showing the four axis, because the, the three axis machine that we sell, wow, seriously, that is some machine. And our customers who have got it, you can't believe the reaction. It, 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 it's just been unbelievable. So the four axis for us, that's a step forward. But what we're really waiting for, and it's going to come next year, we're waiting for that five-axis machine. That's going to put us at the top of the tree. Yeah, again, we've had conversations where when I think Sodic, when most people think Sodic, you think EDM. But you were so right about that three-axis machine. When I think about the, the, and again, you and I have said 10 microns is a mile for yeah. you, right? But when yeah. I think about a table that goes from this side to this side and the micron precision that can be done from drilling holes or from a surface finish from one side to the other on your three axis machine, I drool over the opportunity of a four axis or a five axis machine. Hey, listen, we have a customer that's got a, a, a huge Z on their machine. It's, it's, it's almost 1.9 meters and we're holding 30 microns top to bottom. Come on, we are at the top. It doesn't even, it, it's even tough to fathom the amount of precision that goes in, the quality you guys create. I actually was recently in a facility called the American Precision Museum. And they did something at that time was the Silicon Valley of the US. The difference between then and now when it comes to accuracy is time. Time that's invested to make something so accurate. What you're doing now is you're giving that, as you mentioned, 30 micron on something well over a meter and being able to have that precision, but with speed and with yes. time and with yes. time savings to go along with it. Yes, because we got linear motors. Linear motors is the answer. If you got ball screw, forget it. Go home, forget it. It's no good. You need linear motors. Linear motors do change the game and I think that's what we want to talk about. But also just behind you on the other side of here is some automation. Yeah, automation. And I, and I think we need to talk about automation when it comes to this world too. Yeah, because you need to load the machine. The machine's not cheap, it's expensive, so it needs to run. There's no point in it stopping. It needs to run all the time, so you need to load the machine. It needs to be working 24-7, you know? So that's why we offer a tool changer, and you can link another machine to the other side, if you so wish, but that's our goal. Yeah, and, and the topic that I like about this when you mentioned that the machine has to be running all the time, Peter, is when I see this, I see 40, right? And when we hear the word automation, there's a lot of folks out there that still think, well, I can only afford to automate if I'm running a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, a million pieces. That's where automation comes into play. My friends, that is just not the case anymore. When I see 40 here, I can see 40 different jobs if I want to, Correct. can't I? Correct. You, you can, uh, Every, every one of those pieces could be completely different and the information is set in the control system it knows where it is you can even have that part with a chip on it and it will read the chip as it's loading on the machine and it knows what to do it knows the settings it knows the it, it just knows everything about that product within the control system Peter, I don't know what your history is in manufacturing, but I was once a machinist. I won't tell you how good or bad of a machinist I was, but what you just described of a chip that knows the program, that knows the offsets, that knows the tooling, that knows the changes, would have changed for me the mm. way that I made everything in all the machine yeah. shops I was in with the scrap that potentially could have happened with all the people I managed as well. Yeah, listen, I started life as a tool maker in the tool room in the middle of Birmingham. Well, we are, this is Star Wars. 
seriously, from where I was, this really is, it's at the cinema. Yeah, and Star Wars was a legend for its time. Everyone knows I'm a big fan. I actually have on Darth Vader Star Wars socks right now, but that's wow. not the point of today's conversation. Today is looking at the future. Here's your four axis. Here's your first look. Not quite ready for Europe and the US, but it's coming. Five axis right after that. So keep calling my friend Peter, because it's coming. Put yourself on the list. As soon as it's made, as soon as it's there, you're going to want it in your shop. So now we've done the two step. I'm not going to embarrass you again by doing my American version of dancing, but we've done the two step, two steps into the future, Peter. Is there anything I have not asked you today about this machine, we've talked linear motors, we've talked automation, we've talked precision, we've talked the future, we've talked about the capabilities of the chips to be able to change per job of high mix, low volume, but is there anything we left out that you want to share with anyone watching? Yeah, the only thing I would say, uh, Tony, is that if you want to see the five axes, our, our aim is to have it at Mac in the Birmingham Exhibition Show, uh, hopefully before, but you need to set a target and then everybody can work towards it. Well, hopefully your teammates and engineers here in Japan at Sodic just heard you say that so well, we could have it at Mac in just a little while. I'm probably in trouble for saying it, but there we go. <laughs> We've done it now. We've and that's the now. end of this conversation, Peter. Thank you so much. We might be in a little bit of trouble for this one. Worth it. And you want to see this machine on your shop floor, give Peter a call. Give Sodic a call. We thank you all for watching. Time is the one thing we can never manufacture more of. So if you spent time with us today, we truly appreciate you.